Wearing an American-style baseball jacket, Tiva seems the epitome of the modern young woman. She tells her YouTube subscribers about the birthday surprise she's organized for her boyfriend. Happy birthday to you. A modern relationship shared in a modern way on social media. Hello. Tiva, who'd been living in Turkey for the last five years, also used social media to talk about threats against her and her family. It seems her father back in Iraq disapproved of her lifestyle, and when she returned in January, he killed her. In a tweet, a spokesman for the Iraqi Interior Ministry confirmed Tiba Al Ali had sought help from the police. We were surprised to hear she'd been murdered by her father on the day we were supposed to meet with them again. He said the father had then handed himself in. Tiba Ali's murder is just a, it's a horrific, horrific tragedy and it must be investigated and the, the perpetrator must be brought to justice. Um, and, you know, when I, when I think about Taiba Ali's case, I, I wonder um, how many more Taiba Ali's there, there are going to be. Because without adequate protection in place for Iraqi women and girls, uh, these are the risks that they're facing every single day. Shopping malls were a favorite filming location of Tiba's, but sometimes there were cracks in her carefree image, like here when she started crying. She was a teenager when she fled Iraq, claiming a member of her family had sexually abused her. Violence against women in Iraq has long been a cause for concern amongst campaigners. A Home Office report in 2021 highlighted the fact that Iraq lacks legislation to prevent and punish so-called honour killings. And the Iraqi penal code allows for lenient punishments on the grounds of provocation or if the accused had what it describes as honourable motives. The law doesn't explain what honourable motives are. The current Iraqi penal code is very lenient when it comes to honour crimes, including, for example, murder. Uh, so this domestic violence law needs to make sure that domestic violence is criminalised. Um, but it also needs to ensure that a reporting mechanism is, in, is put in place um, and that shelters are available for women. A draft domestic violence law was first introduced back in 2014, but widespread opposition from politicians has stalled progress. <laughs> Tiba had recently announced plans to marry her boyfriend. She'd got his name tattooed on her hand. Campaigners are hoping her murder will finally be the catalyst for change. They've organized a series of protests in Baghdad tomorrow. Well, earlier I spoke to Ala Talabani, who's an advisor to the Iraqi Prime Minister on Women's Affairs in Baghdad. And I began by asking how people in Iraq have responded to the young woman's killing. Unfortunately, uh, it was a very heartbreaking news for us, especially for Iraqi women. Uh, although the honor killing is became common in Iraq, but the way uh, or the case with Tiba uh, was shocking for the youth, girl and boys in our society. Uh, absolutely, it's not easy to talk about honor killing in Iraq, uh, especially we've been trying for the last 10 years uh, as I was MP, trying hard to pass a law on domestic violence, and each time we were failed. Well, ironically, might this give new impetus to your attempts to pass that bill that you've been trying for so long? Might it succeed this time? You might see off opposition from some of the religious groups who opposed it last time. Well, if we look at the Iraqi social media, because everybody is now looking at social medias in such cases, uh, you have a negative side and positive side of it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I see many young boys, uh, especially with civil society organizations, are supporting our uh, uh, work and effort in uh, saying that it, that's the right time to pass the law in the parliament. But in the same time, or in the other way, there is so many, um, unfortunately, not nice comments about uh, what happened to Tiba. They justify it as it's a normal crime because she's a young girl, she went out of the house, and this is, things are not normal to our society. They are neglecting the case, the real case, why this happened to Tiba, why Tiba had to leave her house, because uh, uh, she left the house because she faced violence. Tiba faced death uh, for leaving the house. 
and nobody are defending her or trying to help her in the family. I mean, you know, the law was changed 20 years ago to allow so-called honour killings to be treated as murder. Um, what would a new law do that isn't already possible, at least, under the current laws? Um, we don't have a specific law in Iraq uh, recognising um, or about domestic violence in general. Uh, the last 10 years in the parliament, we created a women caucus. I was the head of the women caucus. Unfortunately, there were so many big numbers of women MPs who were not supporting this law, just simply because they were part of some political parties with uh, um, backward ideas uh, from tribals, from some you know sectarian and religious uh, uh, parties. Every time when it, when it was coming to be voted, we faced lots of uh, uh, people or vo voices were against passing the law. What's good about this law is uh, um, recognize honor killing as a crime because so far um, the society or the official government and institution, they are not recognizing honor killing as a violence against women or as an honor killing. It's like an normal crime. We've seen protests really take off in Iran after the death of Masa Amini. There are calls for protests in Baghdad tonight to remember Tiber and call for justice. Um, do you think the same kind of scale of outrage and protest could be possible in Iraq? I don't think that there will be big demonstration or um, um, many uh, gathering for Tiba. There will be some here and there. But uh, what, what good is we will watch the trial of uh, Tiba's father because this here is the case. Like if we need law to combat violence against women and especially honor killing and to address one of honor killing, not to leave it and to be shamed to talk about it and to be hide from the society and not to report honor killing case in Iraq. Ala Talabani, thank you very much for joining us.